defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys... And he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. Even the great ones, some of the best, they're not immune to the fumble, and here it really hurts them. If the ball gets away from any runner's body, that's when the defense pokes at it, swipes at it, swats at it, and finds a way to create a big play for themselves. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. Makes the score Eagles 7, Chargers nothing. Justin Tucker is set to kick off. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Tyreek Hill on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Tyreek Hill on the return. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Vick will look to throw on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They toss right side to Bush. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. two drives, but this one's going to get them out to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They will indeed go for it. Vic. This is caught. It's close. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the run, it's Bush. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. He was that was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 44, Vic. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Michael Vick. Now they go screen. It's complete. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, 
tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They just get the playoff. Now Vic. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Reggie Bush, 33 yards. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And all he takes off with it, it's a fake. And he's in for two. The fake works. And they take the lead. Someone really wanted to be in the lead here because that's a heck of a gamble, isn't it? You're down one, you kick it, you got a tie ball game. Instead, they fake it. And I keep coming back to this every time I see it. Remember, if you're faking an extra point now, the ball snapped at the 15 yard Yeah, you're line. giving up 13 yards as opposed to just lining up at the two and saying you're going to go for two. You're running a big play, lots of yardage for one extra point. That's a heck of a gamble, but it paid off in this case. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First down at their own 27-yard line. First down throw coming for Vic. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Vic. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. They run with Jackson out of the gun. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Third and long for Vic. Forced out to his left. Oh, he's got some... And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, it wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. The drive starts with Reggie Bush. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a tick under a minute to go before half. He can run for it, and he will. 
And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. First down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head. His head coach, and probably his agent too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Four receivers now, three to the right, one to the left. Second down and four. From the gun, Vic. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. Lining up for the extra point. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Fields this way up at the 17. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 37-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get into field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. That's complete to Bo Jackson. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Operating from the gun, Vic. Vic in trouble and down he goes. The Notre Dame great Bryant Young in for the sack that time. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes.